There are more than half a million people in our region of the state who struggle to feed their families every day. And as thousands of children head to summer break, the meal programs they rely on during the school year take a break, too. But that's where local mail carriers step in. Penny Howes, the food drive coordinator for the Raleigh Carriers, and Suzanne LaFollette Black from ARP, AARP join me now. Thanks for being here, ladies. Thank Thanks you for me. having us. Yes, yeah, so thank first, you just much. tell me about Stamp Out Hunger. Stamp Out Hunger is a program that um, the post office has been doing since the early 2000s, for the last 22 years. Carriers get together uh, in one day out mm -hmm. of the year and just collect food to feed the hungry. And so, let's talk about how we can help you do that. How do, what do we need to do? Well, we every once a year we, put, we present you with a card to mm -hmm. let you know so you can do your shopping. And then the, the following day we have these bags. We put these bags in your mailbox so you don't have to look for a bag. Okay. We have these bags in your mailbox. We put, employ you to fill these bags up as much as possible. All right. What kinds of things are you looking for, Suzanne? Well, we want to make sure we have a lot of good canned things like mm -hmm. tuna fish, uh, maybe some kind of potted meat, maybe deviled ham, uh, things that are non-perishable. Okay, mm -hmm. we have some examples here on the table of the types of things that you would like to seek. Yes. Okay. Who are the beneficiaries? Who gets this food? North Carolinians. North Carolinians are helping North Carolinians. That's what's going on to this, in this state. Okay, and so over the years, do you know how much you've collected? Specifically last year, how much did you collect? I know our city in Raleigh collected over 72,000 tons. That is incredible. Yes, and I can also say that over 625,000 pounds were collected in the Triangle, but for the whole state, AARP supplied these bags with our wonderful partners, and we had over 2.2 million pounds, and we were ranked third in the nation with the highest number of food collected, thanks to the great letter care and <laughs> postal service. Well, mm -hmm. congratulations. That's and something we to thank be North proud of. Yes, yes, we thank North Carolina for doing so. Absolutely. All right. And I could put a challenge out there. Let's double that number. Yes, okay. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> All right. And the the need is pretty large, isn't it? Yes. The need for this food. Yes. It is. Unfortunately, one out of seven in North Carolina are going hungry. And North Carolina is ranked number one for children five and under who are going hungry. Mm. Grandparents raising grandchildren are having that struggle every day, as well as folks who are 50 plus, we're seeing one in seven that are going hungry. Wow, well, we're going to do it. I think we can double it. Yes. yes, I really do. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you put that challenge out there, and yes. our and viewers, they rise up. Is so generous. <laughs> yes, they are. They're North generous. Carolina rocks. Let's be number one this year. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Thank you, ladies, and best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Stamp Out Hunger is this Saturday, May 10th. All you have to do is lace those bags filled with non perishable food items next to your mailbox. We'll be right back.